A beloved mother, a standout athlete, and a brave fighter. That's how hundreds describe Andy Olsonowski, a local mom who continues a years-long cancer battle. She's been in hospice care for the last few days. Tonight, a vigil outside her home. WDAY News reporter Andreas Safar is in the Olsonowski neighborhood where the vigil just wrapped up. Andreas. Kirsten, Dana, as you said, the vigil is just wrapping up. People still hanging around here, sharing fond memories, and hundreds came out to celebrate the life of a friend, a wife, and a mother. And it's clear, just based on that turnout alone, that Andy had such a long-lasting impact on so many lives. Now, her husband, Mark, says his wife is in the final hours of uh, her battle, but right now she's surrounded by friends and family. And that didn't stop people from filling this yard. They were hoping, praying, singing, and offering support for this mother of four. Now, Andy's been in this fight for nearly five years. She's well-remembered for her track and field days with NDSU. And while she didn't compete after college, she saw that as a blessing because since her diagnosis, her faith has grown tremendously in something she once called the race for her life. And we spoke with Lee Hodel, a friend of the family. He says this is the best way to help a loving person like Andy. What she's going through has not been a sprint. So in, or, in order to be able to cheer her on and say, you can get to where you need to be. And we know where eventually that is. And all of us someday are going to be where Andy is sitting. A lot of emotions here, of course. And one common theme is this. They're cheering Andy all the way to the finish line. Reporting live, Andrea Safar, WDAY News. Governor Walsh.